Action. Hello, dear friends, and welcome. Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday. We are here with a little surprise bonus thing that we're going to do today with my friend Laura Jean. We're going to be working um, with the new IOD Pennsylvania stamp and some paints and <laughs> go on <laughs> I'm so having a anyway, good yeah. I know we're so warm in here it is so warm and the, the camera's at just like kind of a di little bit of a different angle so it's really throwing me off like I can't reach up there and and switch things <laughs> just a little tell me what yeah that's you not might yeah you might need to go tip it like that does it need to be pushed no way? there's yeah. a spider in my hair yeah i got it do you want more. it so you're well, centered because it looks like you're all the way off to one side right now well um you want to see your spider friend no because i'll come over here how about that and then laura and i won't be in each other's lap but laura's head is okay off. so tip it's it just no arm. no no yeah tip it back there you go good enough and then happy? a little bit which way kind so, of this way Okay, I, I like See, lines. Really I like my lines straight. So I'm really <laughs> I just to can't God. tell from my angles. I feel like the higher your hair, the, the closer you are. That's right. God. That's exactly so, right. I got this. Song. I literally feel like um, you're melting. I'm melting. <laughs> number one, I feel like I'm your toddler. Like, I know it. Next and to my you, my hair like, is all right here, and I'm. I know. In my my and stool is like, even shorter. Than I need yours. to like oh, yeah. really bring myself. Hey, we could I've heard get it's a really hot. In Texas. Texas. Yeah. So let me introduce my friend Laura Jean. <laughs> Laura Jean is um, she's a helper of ours, and you came to me. The other day, she, we, we're always sending each other ideas and things that we see on Instagram or Pinterest. Yeah. So you saw this on Instagram, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to make those. Will you do a live with me on Wednesday and show us how to do it? So I sent her home with all the supplies yep. on Saturday, mm -hmm. oh, and she started creating. So... Um, I was really excited when I saw it today. So we prepped a couple of boards and Laura Jean is gonna help us to create this look. We can tip that up a little bit and maybe see what that looks like. But it, it's a really kind of updated folk art look. And it's super cute. We are gonna be using the IOD Pennsylvania stamp on this. So Pennsylvania folk. Pennsylvania Folk. Yeah, I yes. like that it's got more of a, a folky cottage flair and not that primitive 1990s. That kind of Yeah, folk we art. don't want that folky look. No. We want more of no. a... No. You snagged a good one. I don't remember um, who the person was that actually um, posted this. Her, I remember her first name because it's Laura. Um, at the Cottage Scribe on Instagram. That's it, yeah. She, and it's not even in one of her her posts she was sharing a story one day about some antique finds and it was in the story and I was like oh go back and I screenshot it so I just the screenshot I have it's got a cat laying on it so it's really yeah. like yeah yeah you, you totally know. like it yeah you, I wasn't gonna let you, that slip away well you know it's like when we go when we go to the thrift store you go flea marketing or whatever like your eye is naturally drawn to the things that you love mm -hmm. like right away and so and it doesn't matter it can be buried under a pile of yeah crap yes. <laughs> and it's like i've seen it <laughs> someone said no geese and ducks no cheryl you know <laughs> i know cheryl really re how, the cute That's little, very geese, nice. the cute little yeah. geese with the ribbons around their neck yeah. and we stenciled borders with them and they were adorable yes. well i love this so we'll talk for a second about um uh, we're going to actually, we're using Fusion Mineral Paint today and IOD Stone Gray Ink. Now, I I promise you this is Stone Gray Ink. It says right there, Stone Gray. I save all, any and all old um, ink pads and then I just refill them, especially these big giant ones. And I used to do these a lot in our workshop. So um, that's what I have in here is IOD's permanent stone gray ink. 
so what we did, um, I was over at the barn and when I saw this and we were kind of measuring things out and I asked JR like, oh, can we, I need it like so big, so big. And he's like, well, you're not, I don't have anything like that unless it's just plywood. So I'm like, no, I don't want just, just plywood. And so I was downstairs poking around and I found these that I did a few years back and never sold. So, um, so we just flipped them over because on the back side they were painted, I painted them like ash, right? A, a nice dark charcoal gray. So you'll see when we distress these, that's gonna come up through. So it was really the perfect background mm -hmm. for these. So, Laura Jean, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you one, you, you know, well, those of you that have been here, you know how our space is, right? <laughs> so, we're so each, tiny bit more. yeah, we're each, yeah, I'm going to scooch over a little yeah. bit more, too. <laughs> You're like, it's but, really hot. Uh, uh, I, I, <laughs> I <know. laughs> can we please, can we have a bigger studio? <laughs> We literally got stuff that is not getting you three inches of space behind them, between them and the wall. Oh, yeah, no. I know. <laughs> we're, and we're trying to like, door that I'm trying to like yeah. keep as far away from the studio lights as possible. And from Laura Jean. And from Laura Jean, because yeah, it is summer and she's having hot flashes, so. And I'm past hot flashes and I'm still, and I'm like, but I don't do well in the heat. Megan just reminded um, or just said to Laura Jean a few minutes ago while I was racing around, she's like, Mom doesn't do very well in the heat. She gets ornery. She gets a little ornery. Yes. I do. I get, I get, I go back to being like 10 years old and I'm very nervous. You get scared, yeah. She goes start slamming covered doors. My kids will tell you that I'm like that when I'm hungry. Oh yeah, me too. Like, oh yeah, away. me too. <laughs> if I'm hot and hungry, forget oh. about it. Yeah. yeah. You better, you better blow up the life rat or blow up my floaty <laughs> and bring me some chicken wings out to Ew. the floaty. You can't have chicken wings <laughs> on a float. Disgusting. I want to be a sub. I'm a sub sandwich. No. <laughs> I just was about to say I couldn't think of a worse food than chicken wings, and then you said sub. <laughs> If you do that, I want a picture of it. Oh, okay. okay. JR. All right. So the other important part of this particular project is this one-inch uh, checkerboard stencil. We have these. This is by Margaritaville. And Can I just let you guys know that Mom's going to be showing you a lot of things, and it's hard to remember all of them. So I've made a convenient link called Featured on Our Live 621. You can find it in the description on Facebook and YouTube, and it will have... A list of everything that mom and Laura Jean have used here today so you can easily find it. So Laura Jean, go ahead and talk about um, how you got this board ready. Okay, so I measured the halfway point and then I marked it. So now how did you do that without a calculator? Well, it's 22 and a half, so it's 11 and one quarter. <laughs> That's a lot of math. I cannot, no, nope. I cannot, oh, I'm terrible at fractions. Yeah. I'm awful with tape measures. Yeah. That's why half the things I make are wonky. But, so what are we at here? 11 and what? 11 and a quarter. Laura okay. Jean, this was the part that you were gonna do. <laughs> this is mom's job. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm not so good at math, okay? I'm saying that right now. <laughs> so why are you doing this again? Because we want to find the center of the board, and then that way we don't have to make a zillion marks. We find uh, the center of our stencil, Okay. and we're just going to plop it right on there. And it might be like, I mean, if you're really precise with your measurements and how things are laid out, obviously you can get more detail, like, like, as far as putting your marks down, mm -hmm. but I just literally found the center of the board and just found the center of my stencil okay. and did well, that. So 15 and a half is the width, okay. which means what's half of that? Um, seven and a quarter? Seven and three quarters. Okay. So no. Seven and three quarters. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. I can't. You could have done the words eight and four fifths and I would have weighed you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Laura Jean right. saying she's not a math whiz, and right? Not. And believe it or not, I worked in banking for 20 oh, years. Oh, that's scary. It thing, is, isn't right? It? But they probably have so many, like... They do. It's you, not... They're not depending on your brain. They're not. Math. No. You have every kind of machine that you yeah. possibly want. So once again, this um, this background was painted with ash, and then we put um, a couple coats of casement over this. Okay. So, so Laura Jean, yeah, you can go first. Okay. Do you want any tape to hold yep. that down? Yep. So I'm just finding the exact center and putting that middle square, just like that. Does so it look straight? The board that they I showed you in the beginning and that the thumbnail photo was taken with, Georgie used plaster on this, not casement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the background color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we're just going to try to get um, the best angle we can here. Since there's two of us working, there we go, that's a little better. And we decided to use Fusion. Fusion has a built-in top coat. Um, you could also use our Debbie's DIY, my whatever floats yes. your boat. And um, I'm gonna do a pretty like aqua. In fact, I might mix my paint colors while you're stenciling. Yeah, that okay. was um, on the original board. It was kind of a combination of a few colors to get that color I wanted. Because at first it was looking too turquoise and then it was looking too green and I so might want mine kind of turquoisey though I might let me get, mix a little Laurentian with mine and we can see. I feel like we haven't seen you here live in a while I need a paper towel how is everybody today Megan do we have folks watching both on YouTube yes, but and we've waited way too long in the live for me to list all of our oh friends we've got a lot watching. of friends with us today. lots and lots all the best all of the best. The best the greatest the best. hits. The greatest hits are all here. <laughs> Good. Although I haven't seen Patrice yet. What are you up to today, Patrice? Oh no, she there she is. Found her. So yeah, I'm I'm one. just mixing um I'm just mixing kind of a an aqua color. With what? You've got this a is azure, azure and Laurentian. But you know, it is it's funny, aqua is like something different to everybody. I feel like I should have done my arm workouts before I wore sleeveless. It's okay. This on here. Guess what? Listen. We don't see your arms, so. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure if I'm mixing a color, I am mixing enough to uh, do my whole project. But we're stenciling and painting in, and so you're not there's gonna need a lot. We're not gonna need a lot. That's right. You probably need a little bit. Oh my gosh! Even Grandma Rosie's here Hi, today. Hi, mom. Hi. How are you? Guys, my mom had a birthday on Saturday. She did. So everybody give her a big happy birthday to Rosalia. She's at think 68. This right. Year. That's yeah. exactly right. She big was birthday. a mere babe yeah. when she had me. Yep. And let me tell you, my mother is a babe. A babe. She is a babe and a half. She really is. She has She's more energy got than I do. Seriously. You know what? I know. She doesn't she doesn't stop going and that keeps her young. And I, I think I probably take more naps than she does too. Oh yeah, you're not going to catch her napping too often. So Laura Jean, what color are you using? I am using... French eggshell. French eggshell. Egg egg so you're going for a little bit of a different look today. A little more muted, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, can I use that while we have... So yeah. I can do my first yes. coat? How are you going to not get her paint? And it doesn't matter because she's Megan, it's poker. And she's doing this kind muddy. of same. It's not going to get muddy. Color. Remember, kind of French thing. eggshell has a greenish, bluish undertone. Liz, so. you did spell Rosalia co correctly. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yes, I'm going to offload my stencil brush. <laughs> I want to work with a drier brush. Grandma said I done enough stenciling in my day. No, oh, <laughs> didn't we? But all? I think you. I don't think you saw the beginning, but this is kind of folk arty. So it reminds me of the kind of painting you used to do. I just to do and you can look. I really want kind of a distressed look on this. So I don't mind if it's not perfect, mm -hmm. right? Because later we're going to distress over this anyway. Bless you, Megan. My hair's so flowing. Oh, I got my hair done yesterday, so he blow dried it. That's why. Oh. 
think it's got big hair and she don't care. I do not have hair. <laughs> For me, I guess it is. Someone else blow dry that. So Laura Jean was telling us today about um, an experience she had. It, she dropped uh, a jar of oh salsa at the Dollar General. And how that ended us up at Rudy's. <laughs> it, it's a. It's just such a story, right? I just. Just the word salsa made me want. <laughs> but I was so very kid. descriptive. I said I yes. dropped the jar, and, and just the, the way salsa you said it was flatted yeah. up my whole leg, which for whatever reason made me want salsa. I had chunks in my shoe <laughs> and my gross. sandal. It was everywhere. It was really bad. Do you want some baby so wipes? I convinced JR to take us to the Mexican she restaurant. She did. For lunch. She immediately <laughs> went downstairs and was like. Can we go to the Mexican restaurant for lunch? Laura Jean yes. says salsa, but you have to <laughs> yeah. order from the lunch menu. Yeah. <laughs> that was the caveat, he right? Said, yes, and we drove all the way there, us? and it was closed. Yeah, if you need to, otherwise. Because I'm going with a like a peachy color now, so. Oh yeah, That's you might want right. to. It's okay. Just you know what? Just wipe it okay. off with a baby wipe. And my color is going to be Prairie Sunset. I am going with the inspiration photo. We ended up at Rudy's and ate the opposite kind of food. And it was delicious. I had a Pittsburgh salad. Very authentic. Yeah, it definitely was not, <laughs> I not don't, the Mexican. No, it it's hard when you get, have your mind set on certain kind I of know. food and then you don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going, I'm leaving for Mexico tomorrow. That's it's like making me sick to my stomach. Well, and the fact, Megan Megan was like, what the heck? We don't even need to go eat at a Mexican <laughs> restaurant. I'm going to Mexico for a week. <laughs> I can eat all the Mexican food I want. Would it be better if I flip this over to do the peachy color? Sure, you could do that. Absolutely. That okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm still, this fusion, it's so, I mean, it's amazing. My favorite, favorite paint. It doesn't want to come off this stencil right now. Peggy loves Rudy's. That must be Peggy Vacanti. Hi, Peggy. Okay, so this part, I had to pay attention to what I was doing because I didn't want to add an extra row somewhere that I wasn't supposed to. Would it help to tape off? Yeah, I, once, I, once I figure out where I'm supposed to be going with this. So now, So that looks good, but obviously so you want to keep it within within these boundaries, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Grandma's so been ironing I for had hours. to do it twice. Right. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. No, I wouldn't call it Rudy's Barbecue. I think okay, you're thinking so. of something different, Betty. Just a little diner in town. Oh, wanna... Deb's making um, Grandma's banana wanna... bars for her family <gasps> reunion in Indiana Deb on Sunday. Bird. Oh my good, Deb! Can you just drop off a pan of them here, you please? Mind. Because those banana bars are banana licious. Yes. Oh, so we delivered we delivered a piece of furniture the other day to Margaret, who made the other my other favorite banana. Mm -hmm banana recipe which was the, the pie recipe that I told you guys about and didn't and she was gonna she said I have two of them in the fridge and they never set up and it's like she goes I think it's because I used almond milk ew oh I'm like Margaret <laughs> the whole point is it's gotta be half and half <laughs> and so and so we ended up um, I just, she's like, I guess I just have to throw it away. I said, I wouldn't throw it away. Like, put it's a smoothie. It, put it, yeah, put it in ice cream <laughs> trays and make a smoothie out of it. Yeah. Exactly. So I think while Laura Jean is stenciling her other checkerboard area, um, Laura Jean, when you have a second, could you um, share the stencil with me? The stamp. Or the, the stamp, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, the stamp. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of figure out how I want to do mine. So I'm going to um, I'm going to do this. And I'll tell you, the reason, I, th I think the reason we decided that we were going to, um, not, first of all, I don't usually like stamping these in paint. Um, with Fusion, it's really hard to clean off. You could with Debbie's DIY. But we wanted... Oh, 
a little bit of an outline so that we could paint in. And that's why we chose stone gray ink, okay? So I'm gonna be stamping three of these. I think I'm also going to, um, oh my gosh, look at how, this, you guys, you could go I crazy with this. I, it's wonderful. I know, I had to kind of like, rein myself back because I just wanted to keep putting more and more on. I, I know because like, you could, oh, couldn't could, you? Yes. But I think I might use this little uh, beaded one. I think I might kind of do that. I might either outline this or I might do it. I don't know yet, but I do want to use that because I think that that would be super cute. Um, look, but look at Laura Jean, like you could do two birds facing each other here maybe. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, I know, because you could really make this, like, super, but I, I feel like it has to have, maybe? That's cute. Mm, that was cute. That, I mean, you, you oh, maybe like a smaller one. Maybe a smaller one. What's that? You had suggested the heart before. Yeah. I think there's a smaller heart. Yeah. yeah so, that's yeah, that's cute. I could do that. And and then maybe, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, see how I've got this one side to do still. I got a little over. I get that could be super zealous cute. there, but there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, you know what they say: the best laid plans, the best laid stencils, the, the best, best laid stamps, stamps of IOD. So I'm gonna put mine aside. Obviously, don't want to get this last row here. I just want this one more row here that I gotta do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm gonna. I think I might go ahead and start. Um, could you put this in water, please? Thank you. Please don't don't be too like enthusiastic here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm done with this now. Beautiful. Okay. And I don't mind if a little bit of that orangey kind of works okay. into here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of work this up. And then I want to... Can I have the tape? Mm -hmm. Don't. And I've got this row taped off. Don't forget. Oh, you're... Okay, we're good. You're doing your second one anyway. Yes, I am. So I'm going to tape off this row. See why? Because I don't want to, I want to stay within this framework here, this 12 inch square framework. So I'm going to tape that off and that off. And then over here, I'm just double checking. You guys, whenever you're messing with this kind of stuff, you always want to be double checking. So I'm, I'm at the edge here. I'm at the edge here, so I'm good. Um, I needed another stencil brush. If I could sing, I would have just broke out just Edge of it. Glory. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What's that? If I could sing, I would have just broke out and I'm yeah. on the Edge of Glory, but Not I don't sing, so. You don't sing? Ever? Well, I sing. You I like, like to I'm sing. Good at singing, but I sing. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. But I I won't sing for other people. Oh, my kids wish I would not sing. No. <laughs> I just got a notification that we're live on YouTube. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think I do like these birds like this. Yeah. I That's like this. cute. Yeah. I'm going to have you like push that up just a okay. little bit. I don't want to knock. Oh, here. Not here, though. I'm very so I'm kind of laying these out. So I'm going to take the tape measure now and kind of find a center of reference here. Like when it comes to stuff like this, I'm not like all exacto. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you look at the original one, it might not be exactly, you know, everything measured out perfectly. Cause I'm just not really like that. Oh boy, I'm really off. But you know what? It's okay. It's all right. I don't mind. I, Megan, I don't mind. Good. Half of 15 and a half is seven and three quarters. Is that what we said before? Mm -hmm. So you just have to kind of shift your stencil around to make sure that you're... 
and remember that you'll be distressing quite a bit. <laughs> I think you stole my pencil. I did? I'm I sorry. So. Okay. I'm one of those. That, yeah. I'm one of mm -hmm. those. All right. I'm good so far. Now I just have to do this bottom. Ooh, Betty says, I'm enjoying one of the huge peaches from Monday, and we're having fried green tomatoes oh. with our brisket and enchiladas for supper tonight. Whoa, Betty. Betty, okay, off. so Betty told me, um, we were texting last night, and Betty shared that uh, they went on Monday, was it, Betty? I guess she missed our live, because... They went to the peach orchard, and she got soft serve ice cream mm. that was a swirl, and it was peaches and strawberry Whoa. together. Oh, yeah, right. Oh my gosh, that sounds wonderful. So refreshing. There's that. I always love like how slender my arms look when I'm. <laughs> You're just fine. You're thinking about I'm thinking about bingo wings. You both are May perfect. I have um, the ink pad? Let's open up that ink pad. Laura Jean, do you use a thin mount? In your... Um, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I have a thin mount that I always keep cut up into smaller sizes. I think I'm going to need a big one for this. I don't know if this is going to do it. I think that. Oh, I see. Yeah, Megan will get you one. Do you okay. have some, or you want to get a fresh one? No, there's a whole bunch of them in the, one of the slots back there. So do you lay it out and then set your thin mount on top? Well, I can't. Yeah, if if you have two birds, you can do that. Yeah. Um, but in this case, I can't. So okay. thank you, Megan. And I'm going to eyeball it because I know that that's like six inches, right? Yeah. So... We have already pre-conditioned these by rubbing yes. over them with a little bit of sandpaper. We should have talked about that when those new stamps came out, but this is a good reminder that when you get a brand new stamp, you should scuff it up with some sandpaper before its first use. Okay. And I'm gonna do, typically I don't use, um, Uh, ink on fusion mineral paint but this has kind of a rough surface mm -hmm. and I'll dry it also so um, explain why because fusion has a built-in top coat it it can rub off easily but I I can use that to my advantage also when I'm doing something like this I could go in with a baby wipe and actually um, I could wipe that away now and it would be like after it sits on there for a bit and it would be just <gasps> it's okay it really is Megan why are you doing that because I want to show how I lighten it up I actually like to use the brayer oh you do that's a good ink. idea I've never seen mom do that because it um it's not as thick I don't even look like it's coming out at all right now but maybe it's just a sprayer So that's all going to get painted in. Virgin is blowing my mind using a brayer with ink. <laughs> okay, let's see. It worked good like this, uh, you know, when I did this before. So. so basically what we're doing here, we're using... Um, we're using our stamps as a pattern, a template to paint so that we can paint in our design, right? That's what we're doing. So I have those three. No, I'm not gonna go over that. And you'll see, all of, all of this on the inside is gonna disappear. Literally looks like you're putting nothing on that. I know it. it, it no, that's great. That's a, actually a great tip. Because if you've got a lot of ink in your ink pad, 
mm -hmm. and you do that sometimes like if you just inked it it's it comes out really you know bleedy on the whatever you're doing I'm going to tell you what is great for working these kinds of very graphic designs is using that thin mount. I am literally lining it up and I know exactly what line to line up on here and it so, makes it just so easy. Betty said the one thing you forgot about her day that it was 113 degrees. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and we're complaining here. <laughs> And we're complaining. But they have air conditioning everywhere there. Yeah. That's what you have to remember. Like, we, when it gets hot here, a lot of our houses are old, and we just have, like, one one or two bedrooms with a window unit. Exactly. Central air is far from standard. Yeah, we here. just don't, yeah, we just don't have so it. So it's brutal and very humid. Remember the summer. We have it here at the shop now. And remember this summer that it was brutally I'm hot that summer. I did. I was like, JR, I'm going to tell you right now, if I don't have air conditioning in this shop, I am quitting. Yeah. I'm done. And we got it. <laughs> we got central air in here. Um, Liz said, can you sand fusion paint and get better adherence? Um, yeah, you can. I, I think a little bit, yeah. I mean, my favorite way to use the DIY ink with paint is with, uh, or my favorite way to use IOD ink and stamps is with DIY paint. I could have painted this with um, DIY paint, absolutely, but we were already working with Fusion, so look at the pretty detail on that. Yeah. Oh my They're goodness. Really pretty. Let's take a little closer look, see if we can. It's just the DIY kind of absorbs the ink, basically, right? Yeah. It's yeah. so like a nice crisp impression. Another little scrap of uh, this stuff. Oh, I can just use this one. That's fine. All right. So I'm. I would like to. I would like to put a border. I think around here. I don't know. I was thinking it would be good to do that. Or should I do it around here? Are you basically just eyeballing too? A little bit. I like it around the checkerboard. The checkerboard. Then you can have your little heart, and you can still have like yeah, some kind right. of design. Oh, yeah, of you're right. Okay. Okay. That's cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so I'm gonna just. Line. No one mentioned it, but I did choose Laura Jean's colors. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, it's very rare that I get to have input in that way. So. When I win, I have to a neutral girl, but yes. this is all just really out of my butt. But this, I think it's nice. It's not too crazy. Yeah, it's not. Oh my gosh. Like purples. And like how adorable is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, stop it. That's very cute. Stop it right now. Whoops. We'll just do a little extra distress in there. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't like the birds. The birds are oh, so neat. These are oh. so cute. Yeah, well, I just smudged big time. Got to put just a little paint over it and let it dry before you go back to it. Yeah, I think I will because I really did smudge. But it's okay. We do what we do because it's easy to fix, right? Mm -hmm. There's no mistakes. No mistakes. Anybody have any questions? Does anybody has anybody used this stamp? Sandy loves both the color combos. Yeah, they're really cute. Very whimsical color combos, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So look, you guys. So there you go. I I good. So fixed. 
it's all, all fixed. fixed. All from my mistakes. And Jean is over there doing an absolutely stellar job. Thank you. <laughs> I have to decide now what I want to do on here because it needs something here. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. There's some really cute little border prints in there, aren't there? I like, um, I like the one you used on the other one. It reminds me, it could remind me of little feathers. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah, and the other one. But I think I'm going to go with this one. I wish it was longer, but I'll just make it work. Yeah. The flower one is really cute, too. I go with the Is that flowers? Thank you, Megan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was just you looking at this and you're like, like <laughs> getting it in your face. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So I think um, it's kind of fun to do a little bonus live today, right? Fun to do a little bonus. Live. <laughs> I'm kind of camera shy, but you, you know. Well, but you're, but you're so good. I know. Well, you. So you guys, here's the thing. Um, I I love the story of Laura Jean and I. Um, Laura Jean used to come in the shop when we were next door, like years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And just come over on your lunch break and hang out. And then lo mm -hmm. and behold, I think we just started kind of figuring out. Um, that I, you know, she followed on Instagram and I found out like she has an Instagram mm -hmm. page, which is lovely mobile home, mobile home cottage and you need to go follow her. Um, and so, yeah, we, we just kind of like hit it off because we both had somewhat of the same vibe. Yeah. Um, we both had our little neutral cottages and lo and behold, we only live like a few miles from each other. I'm renaming this. To lo and behold. Lo this and video. behold. Aww. Lo and behold. Aww. I like it. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> so sweet. Aunt yeah, Karen's here. She loves this. Hi, Aunt Karen. This is, this is, so, I'm telling you, and I don't usually go for like cutesy, cutesy stuff. No, you and don't. And she hates checkers. Hates to play? Or? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. my God. Don't even get near I, I understand that because checkers is, is kind of boring. Oh, it's like, dang, it's every time I play with somebody, I lose. <laughs> I was just kidding. Do you really hate checkers? Well, because I always lose. It's, there's Because I, I'm told there's strategy involved. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just play with Henry. Oh, okay. that's cute, Laura Jean. That's cute. Yeah, very cute. Let me um, yeah, switch the camera down so you can see that. I think I have to can you tip that just a, when you're done? Just kind of tip it a okay. little bit this way, so Liz we can take a look. Liz said she met Laura Jean in the fall, and she's such a sweetie. We were at the bad oh. girl table and had so much oh. fun. Oh, <laughs> the bad girl table! <laughs> Wait a minute, do I know about this? <laughs> Judy follows you and loves your style. She lives in a mobile home too. Oh, <gasps> Judy! Oh my gosh! I know. I've gone back and forth with considering changing the name but i'm definitely decided that i'm just gonna stick I feel with like mobile home cottage lucky to get that name it's not like you have to be mobile home cottage one two three or no right <laughs> right exactly. yeah. i will say a couple have popped up since that i've seen like but they must home, have whatever. numbers or something yeah you well, got to throw something else on the back yeah, they but don't you're get not, yeah, cottage. that's what i'm saying i get to have cottage. that's very good yeah so well, in the beginning i felt like i was a fraud like People think, oh, she's trying to pull off a mobile home with a cottage, but you know what? I can, because I am by the lake. Yes. <laughs> and but, but you know what, Laura Jean, and, and I'm sure I've probably shared this with you before. Years ago, there was a magazine that had a feature, and I don't know if it was like Cottages and Bungalows or one of our favorite cottage magazines. Mm -hmm. And um, they, had, they featured this woman who totally redid her single wide into um, the most adorable like French country mm. a lot of white and neutral and chandeliers and it was it was yeah, so beautiful and I just thought yeah like 
if I ever had to, you know, have make that decision, or if I chose to live in a in a manufactured home, mm-hmm. like like there are so many possibilities. There like is. you can do anything yeah. with where you live. Well, and look at with, grandma with very little. Yes, yes. Grandma has the cutest one in her whole. She does. Village. Yeah. Shit. Honestly, too. If I had the choice of buying a old single wide from like the eighties or the nineties <gasps> or a new one, I'd buy the old gosh. one. Because they have they do have a lot of character for an old trailer. Yeah. And then you can literally do whatever you want to it. You're not stuck, you know, with I mean a lot of the new ones now they come with, you know, the factory cupboards and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, if you have an old one, you're not gonna feel bad about tearing the cupboards out or yeah. Yeah, doing exactly. whatever you want to it. There's Leah. She just got home from work. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is cute. So here's what I did. If if I can show you this up close so you can see it here. I'm using this little heart and I want to put it right in the corner here. But I just lined it up right in this corner of the thin mount. So that now I can just put, I can line up that corner right there on the edge. It's cute without being too cutesy, if that makes sense. Yes, it does make sense. Look at that. So then the story continues, Laura Jean. And um, Laura Jean came here to be one of our helpers. And um, she, her cottage was featured in one of my uh, private Facebook workshops, the Christmas one yeah. that we did. And, um, and then, lo and behold... Lord Jean, tell them what's happening next month. Or yeah. actually, I just got the invoice for it. You did. I did. Oh. I did. So it's going to be shipping like any minute. Oh my gosh! You better call me, even if it's in the middle of the I night. Did. I ordered extra copies. Okay, so we're talking about all this, like you know what we're talking about. But Lynn and I are going to be in a magazine. You say it, you say it better than I do. Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc Living. Jean d'Arc. <laughs> which has been around for decades. My friend Vaughn used to like share copies of her back issue. She saved every copy that has ever been that Vivian has ever published. Wow. And I just love them. And so we carry them now in, in our shop. We have done that for a while, but then lo and behold, we're gonna end up, each of us has a little feature in the July issue. So excited. So we are so excited, and as soon as we get them here, we'll definitely um, put that link up for you guys. We'll If you're in our text group, we will um, share that with you first so that you have first dibs on a copy. And uh, hey, we could even autograph them. Oh, we oh! never thought. <laughs> yeah, Cheryl be. just said you both must sign a copy. Oh Aww. my gosh, <laughs> it's really very exciting. It it really is. And we've had somebody else kind of pursuing both of us. We didn't realize yeah. that they both were, but I got a feeling that'll maybe spark them to maybe come back it will. to us. Maybe yeah. it will. I hope so. Yeah, um, I hope so too. I Debbie, think- they're painting on a board. Um, Margaret said she's watching as she works out at the gym, talking about desperate for an LJ good space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you, Margaret. Man, <laughs> yeah, that would especially be ooh, totally. Today. You Are really you done should with sign all yes. the copies that we That's sell. Like yeah, for sure. I just, I, yeah, I will. I did order some extra, but, um, so I'm actually just going to kind of paint right in, in a very random way. You're being a little more detailed. Yeah, I kind of want the, I want the, um, the lines to show. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of like coloring in the lines, but okay. not like perfectly. These would be so fun to use like with a paint marker or mm-hmm. yeah. uh, watercolor pencils uh, or watercolor markers would be great. But I am literally just very, uh, I'm being kind of sketchy with my painting because I do want this to look rather um, random and so some of my lines are showing some of my ink lines are showing I don't want a paintbrush yeah 
So, Lord Jean, I'm going to be really surprised. Here's the big surprise, though. Like, we had to we had to prepare for this, like, months ago. Yeah. Months and months. <laughs> and it was before our cottage was sided. So, what you'll see in ours is going to be the cottage when it was, the outside was white. Because I couldn't, I couldn't, it was, um... You could just say, well, you have to wait till I get this done. <laughs> well, no, no. And also because of like publishing deadlines and stuff, like I also right. couldn't send something that was the middle of winter because mm -hmm. we were featured in a summer issue. Right. Okay, Corinne says you can always re-stamp over, over the lines when you're done. Painting. That's a really excellent, yeah. excellent tip, Corinne. Absolutely. Vicki says she has a mobile home. It's from the 60s. So oh, I love that. Oh. I saw it. It reminded me of the staterooms on the Queen Mary Ocean Liner. So I went with it and decorated in Art Deco style. Not your typical. Oh, that sounds cool. Lord Jean's having a major hot flash over yep. here. Mm -hmm. Linda Ooh. Gardner's here. She says, I feel like you knew I needed to see you all today. I'm oh. getting ready for my major surgery and I was feeling alone. Oh, Thank you Linda. all for today. Lord Jean, I remember you from the fall retreat. It's a happy day. Aww. I'm so, so oh, glad Linda, you're here, really Linda. Linda. We love you so much. I know you've had a you've had a little bit of a tough uh, go of it the past few months. Mm -hmm. I'll show my little bird up a little bit closer. Oh, how do I do this here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going here? Oh, because the camera's on this <laughs> angle, so you can kind of move it over here. It's over here, Lord Jean. Like yes. this? Yeah, then like this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw <laughs> lots of parts of it, just not in order that you thought. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, Megan, why don't you remind everybody about our Saturdays here at L and J Goods? Oh, it's so exciting! I won't be here sadly, but. Mom is doing a free demo here in the store at 11 o'clock. Every this, Saturday. Every Saturday. This week, she's featuring all the brand new fusion colors that come out on Saturday. We have them all hidden away. And I will actually be painting a small piece of furniture with one sample, with one sample jar. Yep, and you'll get a chance to try the paint, and ask all your fusion questions. And if you are here for our demo between 11 and 11.30, we would love to send you home with a free sample of one of the new colors. Yes. Of course, it would be one per family. <laughs> so I couldn't come in here with all four boys and... Each kid? No, that's not well, That's happening. not fair. No. No, no, no. Don't. Two of them are adults. And you have to be here for the whole half hour. I will say that, too. Well, I'll make them stay. <laughs> <laughs> not, yep. In fact, actually, since I'll be out of town, I'm going to send them here on my behalf. Okay. You put that in some water, please. <laughs> make yourself useful. Yes, yes. seriously. <laughs> They're each come home with a different sample. I don't want any duplicates. <laughs> Oh my gracious, we are almost done here. I have the worst brushes right now, paint brushes for doing don't this. I your beautiful turquoise iris ones. Because I think I have them at home. Oh. Which is where I do most of my beautiful painting. <laughs> Sandy says, I met a lady years ago who told me she lived in a mobile home. We came friends and she invited me to lunch. Turns out her mobile home was an old train car. <gasps> very Victorian oh. and absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there was a guy that lived um, in the little town where I grew up, and he lived on Back Street, we called it. Anyway, he lived in a trolley car. There used to be a trolley that went through our tiny little town, and he lived in an abandoned trolley car, which he made over into a tiny little place to live. That was so cute. Tiny homes before their time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Kathleen said the I don't know, we were scared of bombs. <laughs> yeah, I was a little, didn't know where the story was going. Yeah. Kathleen says the colored part of those flowers mimic the heart shape beautifully. Yes. 
Tabby wants to know, will you be recording or streaming your Saturday demo? No, we will not. But if you are not here local with us, please watch our live from Monday where I did go through each of the colors and swatched them out for you guys. And we had a whole Q&A on Fusion Mineral Paint. So that was from Monday's live, Tabby. Sharita says, we have had the center of our home 45 years. It was a 1978 14 by 70, and we have added on to it all the way around. All Come on. Oh. I will say one thing about mobile homes, and I had somebody ask me this the other day, like how efficient they are, and they're worried about, like they were moving, I think, to Michigan or something, and cold, and, but I will tell you, I know this from experience, and I've heard other people say, that mobile homes are very well made they're very tight everything like all the windows are tight there's a ton of insulation they're very very efficient and i can tell you that our um energy bills went down half from what they were in the old farmhouse that we were in oh that's awesome oh, I'm maybe sure. more than half and we live in cold western new york mm -hmm. yeah and those winds come off the lake man they mm -hmm. they're So what do you think, you guys? Is this a project that you would do? Um, what colors would you use? We were we were literally going round and round, like what color Over combinations? The last yeah, right. until I came in and saved the day. You did so? Like, tell us what colors. color combinations you would use. I would love to know. I wanted to use park bench because I, I that's know. such a fun color, but I could not find a mate for it. You will, and I still <laughs> want to see what you're going to do with that. Lord Jean, when you sanded yours, did you use an orbital sander? I did, yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're not going to be sanding ours today. I might do just a corner of it to show you that color that comes up from underneath. But um, we want to let this dry well before we were to sand it. And you can distress it to whatever you want. And then um, if you want to apply like an antiquing glaze or a wax, um, I probably will just use a dark wax. Are you going to paint your checkers to match? Uh, I probably won't be <laughs> painting any checkers, thank you. She'll, Mimi will be saying, no kids, this isn't for playing with. No. <laughs> this will be a, this is cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. be nice on a coffee table. You could use it kind of like. That's true. Out on the, the patio, you know, like to bring out some snacks or whatever kind mm -hmm. of. I like the way you uh, painted in that corner, like you did a little... Yeah, I used tape and taped my mom off, but whatever, yeah. Just kind of give it a more of a... I don't know. Just a little something, something. Yeah. A little something extra on the edges. So niece said, my grandparents lived in a mobile home and they built a basement under it and attached the home to it. I would same not here. live in one other room unless I did the same because of tornadoes. We did the same thing. Well, we don't have tornadoes here, but we when we moved and put it on, you know, took it down to the lake, we hired out somebody to come in, a mason, and dig out a basement and put in a full basement. So we have 10 foot ceilings. Does that sound right? Maybe. Nine. And is it like a finished basement? It is a finished basement. There is a storage room down there, a big storage room for all my junk. There is a, there's two bedrooms. It's Pete's main there, cave. Right? Yeah, there's a family room and there's a workout wow. room. Wow. And we have our wood stove down there. So that's how we heat our house. All the heat just like warms the floors and it, we rarely turn the heat on. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we attached it to car garage and the third bedroom upstairs, my husband literally cut a hole in the floor and made stairs that went down to the basement. So the house was set on the basement and the only way you could get to it was through the Bilco doors for a couple of days until he cut through the floor <laughs> and made a way downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's, we needed the room because at the time we had three kids at home still two boys and a girl yeah. and there was no way that we were all fitting 
on the one floor. Because it's just know. a one bedroom. Now, it was upstairs, a one bedroom upstairs. It was a three bedroom, but then that one room got the floor taken out, and that's a mud room now, and you can go up to the garage that way. So that bedroom was gone. So then it just left the master bedroom and a teeny tiny bedroom upstairs. Okay. And that teeny tiny bedroom upstairs now is my craft room. Mm hmm. But there's still the two full bedrooms downstairs. Rebecca said she lives in a 1980 single wide. She's trying to renovate it in the French countryside. Takes a lot of time and a lot of money. We should follow um, Laura Jean because she does it. With not she a lot does of it money. In, on a budget. Yes, very yes she does. I had to be because by the time we put that basement in, yeah, that was expensive. The excavator bill was through the roof, ridiculous, insane. Yeah. You would have to pay them a lot of money. And there wasn't like a lot left. So yeah. I painted everything white. All my walls were white, yeah. like everything white, cabinets white. And then I just went from there. And then over the course of like two years, I just kept making things and adding architectural salvage mm -hmm. just to give it more of a, you know. Just character. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it didn't happen overnight, but it was fun. And now I pretty much have everything the way I want it for the most part. I just change out little things here and there when I get bored but it's cute as a button it really is Corinne suggests using the knob topper um, stamp for checkers oh my gosh but Corinne what if I don't want to play checkers maybe I just what want if, is anybody allowed to play checkers wouldn't it be nice if you could just the grandkids came over and you at least had the checkers to pull out if somebody wants to paint checkers for me. Jeannie says she would do black and white checks on a muted antique yellow white. <gasps> like on the plaster. That would be pretty. You know, I was thinking too, before we started this, uh, we had already painted these white. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be fun to do black and then you have white ink, right? Yeah. In Very chalkboardy kind yes. of. Yes. Yes. But then with a pop of something, like a pop of a... Uh, like a mauvey pink or something. Oh, yeah. Or some gold. Yeah, like mm -hmm. I think that would be fun. Like, Sharita says, we cut the tongue of the trailer out and removed wheels and set it on concrete. My husband was a building contractor. It was I, I was a school teacher for 30 years and they built houses. That's what he taught the kids to do and we did all of our own remodeling. That's oh, that's awesome. Enough. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot can happen when you just put a coat of paint on stuff you know Absolutely. if you want that look it's like you don't have to commit to a full-on like okay no. I'm going totally French country and I'm gonna do it all in you know yeah because three the days unfortunate things about mobile homes and trailers and whatnot is they have this wall board and it has those stupid strips every three feet or whatever and it's kind of like a lot of them, there's like prints on them and stuff, and they're awful ugly. But when you paint that, you don't even pay attention to the strips anymore. I've had a lot of people say, oh, you should pull your strips and fill them in and sand it off. Well, do, have you tried it? It's not fun. Yeah. And it's just as easy to paint it all. And we did do a couple walls shiplap and got rid of those strips. And it's a lot of work. Paint it yeah. all white. It, it really, it, the strips do not bother me. Stephanie would use mint green and gray. I like that. And Kat would do black and white faux marble. Oh, yeah. Ooh. With the folk art? That could be really interesting. I feel like it needs something right now. So that's is, what we're Don't you do. see, though, how you can kind of get like carried yeah. away? Oh, like you can just keep going. Absolutely. And going. And going. Absolutely. So we're gonna let this dry. And, oh my gosh, That's cute. how cute is that? And then again, you can come in with an orbital sander or you can do, you know, sand it by hand. That's cute, it needed that. And then once you put that antiquing glaze on it, it mm -hmm. just changes it so much. Oh, it sure does. It really just all of a sudden, it just looks old. Yep, I'm going to show yours again. Oh, that is darling. I don't even think I'm going to paint those in. No, you don't have to. 
don't need to. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to leave them. But super cute. I know that when I sand this, I'm going to get a little bit of an edge there. So um, that'll be cute. See here. Because this was framed out, um, JR framed over the wood. So there is that little bit of a edge there where the wood joins the frame. When I sand that, it'll... Um, It'll kind of reveal that a little bit. You honestly could have done it the other way too, where it would sit inside the frame. Oh yeah, which is yeah, nice for you checkers. could. So the checkers can certainly try. That is that she used the darkest shade of blue background in steel and coral. Oh my gosh, I love that. I don't want to like go over my paint, but I do want you to see that underneath this. Linda is. has remodeled three mobile homes, textured the walls, and painted every inch. Ooh, wow. Did, did you redo the ceiling? I still have popcorn ceilings, and that is something that I do want to take care of sometime in the next few years. So you can see this. See the little, see that dark that's coming up? Underneath. These are cute. They're really cute, Megan. Corinne really likes that end. Mm -hmm. Like here and here? Yeah. Stephanie has a black and white real marble chest. Excuse me. Oh, Miss Stephanie. Actually, you know what? Linda kept the popcorn. Yeah. This is pretty much dry, but look at when I distressed that. All the dark coming Ooh, through. My head is like right in there. <laughs> Sorry. Please well, say your hair done. But see how that top layer of paint is sanding away to reveal like the white underneath and the black. I said I wasn't going to do this and look at, um, <laughs> well, you must be dry. It is dry. Well, it's, you know, it's really porous, it's, like the wood. So I can yeah, see and it's where it warm be. today, too. So, so yeah. I might go get my pool. <laughs> oh, I forgot you have a pool. I do. And you're only a few miles away from me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a float that is so big that you can spread out like a starfish and not touch the water if you don't wow. want to. <laughs> because I'm such a baby because it's, it's got to be really warm. Yeah. Me. So I just stick my toes and stuff in. But. Well, this is super cute. Yes. And I want to kind of finish this video up here. So, Lord Jane. No wax or no? No, I'm not going to right now. I'd rather like... I don't want to keep this going for more than an hour. We are, are already like more than an hour, so. Um, but I am going to distress this with some in some wax. But here's Laura Jean's that she did, and look at what a difference it makes. Yeah. So you can, I mean, you can distress to the extent that you want to. Yeah. But really cute. I mean, you can do so many different patterns with this. I just love it. So, um, Laura Jean, while we would love to sit here for a while and watch you finish this, um, <laughs> we're not going to. Really? No. We're going to say goodbye. <laughs> so, you guys, thank you for watching today on this little bonus live. Thank you for um, being so nice to my friend, Laura Jean. And <laughs> go ahead, make sure you follow her over on Instagram. And check Instagram too, because I just put up. Home cottage. Yep, yes. at Mobile Home Cottage. I just put up a really awesome link too, or a really awesome reel, I should say, yeah. that is so, so cute. So um, check that out. We would love it if you give us some likes, give us um, um, a thumbs up here and there, and go ahead and follow us here on Facebook and on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button and uh, join us here every Monday and Friday and every other Wednesday um, at L&J Goods. You can also find all the stuff we're using 
at ellenjgoods.com. Yes, at the link in the description here on Facebook and YouTube. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was fun. <laughs> you have a good eye, girl. We, oh, you picked out a good, cute little thing to do. Thank so you. Anyway, no, thank you. I think it was it's awesome. mostly because I'm so cheap. And I always look at something and say, <laughs> No, you're thrifty. Can I make that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she does. And yes. she does. So take care, you guys. And um, you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you on Friday when we are going to share how to create some faux concrete effects. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Look at how cute. cute. You Very are cute. the most yes. good color picks. Megan, could you um, hit the end button? <laughs>